this should be a really sad video my friends. I've just sold my narrowboat and now for only the second time in the last decade I am completely boatless. But it's not a sad video at all, because not only do I have all of these fantastic memories from life on board good old narrowboat Abel's Ark, but I am now completely free to go out and buy narrowboat number three. So I'm actually quite buoyant and filled with positivity and excited about the year or so ahead as I try and figure out my next boat and what my plans are for it. Anyway, as you can probably imagine, that's certainly not to say there haven't been sad moments over the last week or so. Once I knew that the boat was definitely sold and the days were ticking down to handover day, there were certainly some uh, wobbly voice moments on board, which is why I've decided to do this as basically a completely voiceovered video to keep the spirits up. Well, my friends, I almost don't want to say it, but this could well be my last night with my humble narrowboat table's ark. You might gather that I'm struggling to keep coming up with words while also tempering the emotion that wants to let itself out in my voice here. It's certainly a mixture of emotions to say the least. I think the only thing I feel particularly sad about and maybe a little regretful is that because of the nature of selling a boat you never know when someone's going to come along and buy it. So at this point here, this little clip that I used in a recent video with the camera hitting this pipe over the canal is a nice little novelty moment. Whereas now this is actually the last footage I have ever taken on board the Ark as she's moving. And of course, there was only me and Sam on board for it, and of course it rained on us. But that means, again, there was no final trip for my family or my nan and granddad. And, uh, but then, when I look all the way back to this very young version of myself on board good old narrowboat Tilly, I know that I was incredibly sad and scared and completely clueless, really, when I was sailing this boat as to what on earth I was doing. Whereas, within two years... Here I was, once again, my granddad's car taking an absolute battery in here as I was moving back onto the canals on board Abel's Ark, a much bigger boat, a much more sensible grown-ups boat for living on. And I've got to say that when I look back at this now, this makes me almost feel more sad looking at these good times of sorting the boat out in the marina before going out on my adventures. This almost makes me feel more sad than thinking, oh no, I've just sold it, oh, now I haven't got a boat at all. And that's partly because it's easier for me to now be here with no boat, looking back at these moments of excitement and uh, endless, boundless optimism, and know that at some point in the future, I'm going to be doing it all again. Whereas when I sold that first boat, I didn't know if I was going to be doing it all again. I thought that I was, but I was having these doubts and all the rest of it. And as I say, it took me almost two years to come back to the canals. Yeah, and look at this. Even in the rain. Oh, that little boat. I absolutely love that boat. I, I really would love one of those for just tootling about in. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. This is meant to be about the solemn business of me now selling my boat and being a boatless character. So it's important to remember at this point just how much my life has changed overall during the period of time that I've had the Ark. So during this period, I've finally learned to drive and bought a car. So suddenly, a lot of the issues I was having in my final years on Narrowboat Tilly with the muddy winters and the cycling commutes completely evaporated. I've also, of course, met the lovely Samantha. So there's um, a lot more to think about these days. And of course, that's partly where some of the unknown and the excitement comes in for the future of boat life. As we've looked at and thought about moving on to a bigger boat together and Sam's actually currently downsizing her house and so that's meant to be the sort of half first step towards downsizing all the way to a boat but again 
not trying to make any concrete plans. You only have to look at what's happened in the world over the last few years to see that any sort of long-term planning is um, not necessarily something to be absolutely married to and absolutely rigorously uh, followed. So we're trying to keep our options relatively open. So I'm currently leaning towards picking up maybe a smaller boat and then as Sam downsizes, starting to spend a lot more time between the two and then potentially get a bigger boat to move on full time after that. Maybe I'll do what I normally do, get impatient and then just go straight for a bigger boat. But what I'll say about that at the moment is not at these prices, I won't. Um, but yeah, in all seriousness, there's so much to look forward to. There's so much that I'm excited about. And of course, to potentially do this all again, but with somebody at my side is definitely uh, something I can see a lot of upsides to. But also, I uh, I will admit there's a certain element of stress I feel might creep in with uh, two opinions on everything. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll figure it out one way or another. Something that I'd like to just highlight here is that some of you will know this anyway, but my life has always been about being out in the great outdoors. And as much as the boat is its own element of that, it's not about being locked in the boat at canal level. For example, this amazing snowy scene here was filmed less than a month before I bought the Ark. And then a month after buying the Ark, after a beautiful blazingly hot summer's walk, uh, around the hills at the back of Langhoflin. I was here playing around in the, the waters of Flanrider Waterfall. And again, in the last two years, I'd say I've done more walking and camping than I've done in the last decade combined. And I mean, look at these places, they're absolutely incredible. And this is what life's about to me. And it's fantastic to have a boat and to be able to do the, the calmer, flatter areas. But it's uh, it's something that when I sold the first boat, I had a lot of grief and people who were really unimpressed and also a lot of people who seemed to think that I was leaving the canals forever and also therefore never going to go out to the countryside ever again and just live in some sort of concrete jungle hellscape which for the people who are unfamiliar with the rural area that I'm from it's a uh, yeah you don't have to walk far to see some grass. So all in all, my friends, what do I really think and feel right now? Am I sad to a certain extent? Of course I am. It's been a fantastic boat that I've got a lot of great memories on. But I find it difficult to be too sad because I'm hoping it's not going to be my last great boat with a lot of fantastic memories on. Obviously, there's a lot changed in my life and me personally during this period. And the world itself has certainly seen some interesting events occur that's left things and people maybe a little different to how they were. I think my biggest regret once again just like with Tilly is that I didn't keep on top of the odd jobs and work on board the boat although I do think that because I was thinking of selling the boat before the whole of 2020 occurred it led me to be less committed to getting any of the jobs done and then over the last year in particular where my my attention has just been in so many directions with different things going on in life that I've let the boat get dirty and grubby and obviously then things like the bilge pump and the water pump and stuff like that started to go and it eventually became a thing where I was like, you know what, it's time to sell up and let somebody who knows what they're doing take over and restore it to a former glory. And I hope that the new owners have a fantastic time. And if they have half as half as many fantastic memories as I do with the boat, then they won't be doing too bad. So the best of luck. Um, in all honesty, though, my friends, I'm just incredibly grateful once again that I'm coming up to my 36th birthday I've already been on and off boats for over a decade and I'm hoping that that's going to continue for a long time into the future. And of course, my friends, I'd like to thank you all as well as your support in watching these videos and commenting and spreading the word. The people who've read my short boat life books, links in the description, everybody. Hint, hint. Um... And then, let's say, the people who've supported me on PayPal and super likes and comments and all that sort of stuff and channel memberships, it's its just incredible. It's something that I just don't think that I could 
A, I've ever imagined anybody would be that interested in me and what I'm up to, and B, I still can't believe it. So thank you all for even just spending any time looking at these videos and my general ramblings from the canal. So for one last time from good old Narrowboat Abel's Ark, I shall say farewell. But don't worry, this is not the last of the videos. I'll see you again very, very soon. So, as always, my friends, keep it interesting, keep it boatworthy, have a fantastic day, and of course, my friends, farewell. <laughs>